I've been on an epic and maybe even impossible quest to explore all 467 neighborhoods of Seoul, one by one. And today, I'm taking you to the heart of Hewadong. This neighborhood is known for its thriving theater and art scene, but little do people know, it's also been home to many controversial political figures. Hell, I didn't even know, and I walked here a thousand times. So join us as we take a stroll through the seemingly ordinary streets of Hewadong and uncover its hidden secrets and fascinating history. Let's do this. It's time for Hewadong and I'm super excited because back in 2014, I spent my first three months in Korea in this neighborhood because I was studying Korean level one at Songyeokwan University. This is the main entrance of Songyeokwan University. Oh, there you are already. Hey. This is Sujin, historian and PhD candidate at Songyeokwan University. Impressive, huh? Hi, everyone. It's a great honor for me to um, introduce this like lovely historical um, neighborhood. <laughs> it is. Like yeah. I said earlier, I spent a lot of time in here, ah, yeah. but never did I know anything about what's going on other than the university itself. I think to be honest, there are like many people who don't know about the history in this neighborhood. I yeah. think so. So I will let you know That's gonna as change. much as I can. Actually, the Hewa Dong uh, today, today's Dong. As I said, Hewa Dong is known for theater and art, but that's in Dongsheng Dong these days. Well, most of the theaters, anyways. The area we will cover today is Hewa Dong, Myeongyong Dong, Ilga, Iga, Samga, and Saga. So the theaters must wait until I explore Dongsheng Dong. This video is going to be some bloody interesting history. The name of Myeongyun Dong um, uh, was originated from uh, Myeongyun Dang, a lecture hall of this old school, Songyunguan. So we will look around. So this is the old university, this building? That's right. This is the old, like, kind of national university of uh -huh. Joseon Dynasty. There's always an explanation for why things are the way they are. Hewa Dong was, or maybe still is, a hot spot for the elite. So there must be a reason for that too. We will likely find an answer within the charm of the old university. It seems like an excellent place to start. What a shame that this is my first time going into this place after walking by for three months every <laughs> single day. It was more than 600 years old, Songgyunggan, <laughs> the old Songgyunggan. There is another Songgyunggan in North Korea. I've been there. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. oh my god, I, I want to go there, but I'm, I'm, I'm South Korea, so I can't go there. It has a long, long history before Joseon Dynasty. So this Songyunggan is, um, was built in Joseon Dynasty, but before that, uh, there was uh, also Songyunggan in Goryeo Dynasty, and before that, there was like kind of national school. <laughs> so kind, the one yeah. in North Korea is even older than this yeah, one? Yeah, that's right, that's right. Now I realize what a privilege it was to visit one of Korea's old historical places in Gaesong. I remember trying to send a postcard from this place to South Korea, but the North Koreans didn't like that. Joseon Dynasty was established based on uh, Neo-Confucian ideology, and they wanted to educate uh, Neo-Confucianism to everybody, uh, especially uh, the members of the ruling class. Someone who wanted to uh, become uh, the members of elites, mm -hmm. the members of ruling class, they had to take the public exam called 과거 시험. To take the exam, mm -hmm. they, they had to attend this school. Uh -huh. So if you want to be uh, like, let's say, elites of the um, society in Joseon, you had to come here and study here and you should prepare the exam. Yeah, can you remind of Techidong? So it's yeah, right. a long history. Behind the university lies a little known path that takes us to the ancient city wall. Living inside the walls was exclusively only available to a select few. So I can see the city wall over there. Oh yes, that's, that's right. Songbuk is the Song means wall and Buk means the north. So outside this place, it will be Songbukdong, but inside this place is Hewadong. But oh boy, the view is worth it. I love the city wall. Yeah, I love it's the so city It's so beautiful, wall. no matter where you are. Yeah, that's oh, right. Oh, check out this view. The people who live there uh, uh, have lived this place uh, for a very long time. Oh. <laughs> Oh, we are going to uh, the house site of Song Xiyal 
and I want to introduce him because he is one of the most like, famous politician and Confucian scholar in Joseon Dynasty. And he was the leader of the political par party at the time, like, mm. called Seoin. After like King Hyojong of Joseon Dynasty passed away, there were interesting debates. It was kind of one of the huge debates in the Korean history. After King Hyojong died, the Hyojong's stepmother, yeah. who was younger than him, the civil servants at the time, uh, they discussed uh, what to wear of her morning dress. According to the Neo-Confucian theory, uh, the she, the stepmother of Hyojong, uh, should wear a morning dress for one year. They thought that king is just like same with the other people, the other political party. Uh, they insisted that, that she should wear a mourning dress for three years because he is a king. So they fought a lot. And then Song Xie was the leader of the Sein, so he, he claimed that, that oh she should uh, she should wear a mourning dress for one year. Like the king is like same with the other people. And at the time he won. Like wearing a, a mourning dress for yeah. one year? Yeah. <laughs> Out of your mind? Are you crazy? <laughs> and for three years? Yeah. Wow, can you imagine? We wear a morning dress for three days nowadays. Those were different times. Wearing a morning dress for one or three years? But let's check out this Confucianist house, or what's left of it. That one. Oh! <laughs> so, okay. Yeah. This is it? Yeah, this is it. <laughs> I mean, impressive, I guess. There would be a house, but it isn't now. Hewadong is center of the politics from the very old times until nowadays because we will see uh, the house of the president Lu Muhyan. Lu Muhyan. It's not only the old elite who used to live here. Not far from the rock was the former president's house, but no sign or anything that indicates he ever lived here. Lu Muhyan lived in the in the one of a flat of this house. When he became the president of Korea, uh, he came out from this house and he went to the blue house. Actually, so far, he was quite controversial because uh, at the time he tried to... Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, he tried to uh, make a FTA with USA, which means quite liberal and mm. which can be conservative at the time. So he was criticized by... criticized. Uh, by both parties at the time. Mm. So he was impeached. It, it didn't happen. So, so he could be a president after that. But he, he killed himself uh, a few years ago. I'm actually surprised he lived in the flat. flat. Yeah, you know, it's like a, a president. You would think he lives in a big, big yeah. uh, standalone house. That's right, yeah. Do you know that feeling if someone important, a VIP, has lived somewhere and you're intrigued by that place? At least I am. It could be a K pop idol or a president. So the following site excited me because we got to see inside the house of one of these critical people, important people. This is the house of Chang Myon, the Prime Minister of Republic of Korea. Is that him? Yeah, it's that him. I will introduce a story, an interesting story about Lee Seung Man, uh -huh. uh, like the first president of Korea. After two times of presidency, he wanted to become uh, president again. He amended the constitution uh, to let the first president run for the presidential candidate mm -hmm. like forever. Yeah. It's kind of, you know, the, the type of dictation. And Isingman thought that uh, if like he would become a uh, like vice president, then he his party would uh, could lose their power. So he reached election and after that there were like huge demonstrations and many people died and the, the demonstration was succeeded and the Jang Myon became the first prime minister of Republic of Korea and then at that time the people really like hated the presidency system because they thought that the president uh, had uh, so much power so they they changed the political system to the parliamentary cabinet system and he was the kind of like he was the prime minister so he was the the first and the last, let's say, prime prime minister of Republic of, of Korea. Ah. Yeah. It's a combination of Korean, Japanese and Western styles. Let's check it out. Yeah, sure. Yeah. It's so pretty. Yeah, it's pretty, right? Oh, what a wood smell. Yeah, that's right. I like that. Yeah. Here's his old family picture. So where is he? Is it this man? Yeah, this man. 
Oh, and I think this is his old chair because no sitting usually means yeah, that's guys, right. this is an authentic chair. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm one of those people if you say don't sit, and I, I really want to <laughs> want to sit, especially when it's a rocking chair. The shoes of his wife. Yeah, do you think one day my shoes will be exposed somewhere? Oh, yeah, of course. My old shirts. So what is this? Ah, uh, this is open it. yeah, just kind of storage or did they ever open this? Did we just find like it looks really old? Oh, this is Japanese, old Japanese. Newspaper. Yeah, Incredibly but why cool. they... <laughs> I think they never opened it. You can't even open it. That's how old it is. It's so... Yeah. You want to touch it? Oh, yeah. You know, hallway is Japanese style. Yeah. But the, like, the main structure of this house is Korean because the house for the guests and the living house uh, Separate. are separated. It's very like traditional and typical Korean style. Interesting. That's like a mixture of both, yeah, right? Yeah, mixture. Yeah. yeah. I... Is it still uh, elite school? Yes, so Global High School and one of the like most prestigious high school in Korea. No way. Yeah. So it's the Seoul Global High School. Yes, that's right. Uh, uh, so we're now at a different house. <laughs> it's like a house tour today. Um, so this is the place where for a long time all the mayors of Seoul lift i can't believe that this wasn't even everything there were so many stories to share but maybe another time it's clear that hewa has always been a political center many elites have lived here some are controversial and it's no surprise to find one of the most prestigious schools here right i learned a lot today and hewa dong will be remembered as song yung university and the elite let's finish this video at the beautiful hewa gate Ooh, it's windy you check out the ceiling. Brand new ceiling. <laughs> brand new gate, brand new ceiling. You know what we, what I always say at the end? Ah uh, yeah, of course. Oh, you Haru. know it? Oh, no. hey, you're the first one. Oh, you're not the first one, but. <laughs> okay, thank you so much for watching. And thank you. Thank you, Haru. Sujin, for everything, for the explanations. Oh, uh, no worries. Super interesting. Yeah, it's my pleasure, very, yeah. very pleasure. And uh, see you in the next video. Haru. Haru. Welcome to my dong. I have all my hands free. Okay. <laughs> okay, got it. <laughs>